Okay, so I know that Piggy Book 2 Chapter 10 has been out for a while now, and because of that we've been focusing on more relevant events, such as the DLC codes coming out sometime this week, and Piggy Book 2 Chapter 11. But I felt like I should still include this video tutorial type thing on how to solve the puzzle in Piggy Book 2 Chapter 10, because a lot of people can't get a grasp. Maybe they have by now, but in case you haven't, this video is for you. Let's get into it. So first you start off the map, and then you usually start by unlocking the blue or green key. In this case for me, it was the blue key. As you can see, I grab it here and I take it from this girl. And the blue key is down this way. And if the blue key is the first one, the green key will be inside. And this is where the first code lies. As you can see, it is a black circle on top. The girl opened the candle for me, so if you go down that circle path, you will find the exit area. And you can go ahead and click the black circle to make it go on top of the upper one. As I was saying before, if the blue one is first, the green one will be next. If the green one is first, then the blue one will be next. Usually the candle is about third or maybe even second. Now, if you have the green key, or if somebody else unlocked it, go ahead and unlock it. And then this is where the second one lies. As you can see, uh, this, uh, this is the black circle on top. And that's an arrow. Don't worry about that. That's just an arrow. So remember that black circle on top pointing downwards. So you can go ahead and go down through this hallway and this is where the third one lies, usually about the last one. The arrow is pointing to the left and it is a white plus. There is one more arrow, but I didn't really need it because it's pretty self-explanatory once you get them all down. But remember that white black circle on top of the bottom and the plus in the middle of the left. And there you go, it's unlocked. You don't need to do it first before every other achievement, but I just did because, um, you know, this map is pretty easy once you figure out the code. So there you go. Uh, this is just the gameplay. I just went ahead and sped it up. And, uh, yeah, that's basically the end of the video. I know this was a kind of a short video, but it's a pretty self-explanatory, um, solution. It's not that hard once you get the hang of it. I don't remember the last location of the pointer, but usually just look around for, like, maybe a minute or two, you'll find it. It's not that hard. And, uh, yeah, you'll be able to do it. That concludes this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.